So if you look at the barriers and enablers of change, you'll see that within the barriers, eight out of 10 are people focused, and of the enablers, 10 out of the 10 enablers are people focused. So it's actually people drive change. One of the things that I think is vitally important is that people take control of their own culture within their own teams. So they create a culture, what they believe, what they want to do, how they want to work together. And that creates a culture within the sub-team and that starts to influence the larger organization. So you can positively change the existing behaviors in your own team by identifying what you want the values to be and then to actually identify what behaviors will illustrate those values and you live them then on a day-to-day -day basis. That will actually have a positive impact on how we work together as a team. So for me, with my work with teams over the last 25 years, I think the role of the leader is critical to managing the change. I think he or she creates the norms that exist within the team. In other words, how the team really works. They need to create the vision for the team, where we're going, uh, what that looks like. They need to actually empower and enable people to actually take on the roles within that journey. And they need to actually motivate people and energize them to deliver on the uh, goals. To create a sense of urgency to deliver the change, one of the key things that we think is important is to put a plan together. And through our framework that we've developed, we focus on the goals, people's roles within the team, what processes they actually have, and who they're building relationships with. And on the step-by-step -step process, they actually start the journey, it sustains it, it moves it forward, and it enables them to actually start to achieve their goals. That's when you start to change the culture and to manage the change.